Welcome to this video on pattern matching, sometimes called wildcards. My name's Andy Wicks, and this is the only video in this series that's specifically aimed at MySQL. In this video, what I'd like to show you is how you select records by what the, a particular field looks like. Let me show you the problem. The first thing I'm going to do, as always, is to select which database I'm using. If you're using a standard database that's for you, al you alone, then you don't need to do that step. Now I'm going to go to the SQL tab, and I'm going to enter some pretty standard SQL. All this does is list the title, edition and price for all the books in the bookshop. So let's press Go, and we'll see the result. As you can see, 715 results have been returned, and it shows the title and edition of a book. However, if we did this when a customer came in and said, have you got, then that would be a bit of a problem, because we'd have to go through all 715 records visually to see if it's there. We could use a different technique, but I'd like to show you something slightly different. So let's go back to the SQL tab and we'll take a look. Here's a different type of command. You'll notice that the first three lines are the same as they were in the previous version. This still lists title, edition and price for books from the bookshop. However, it says now and title like and then percent ACE percent. What that does is it will list any title that contains the letters ACE in that order. The percent means I don't care what comes before and I don't care what comes after. The percent sign is one of only two signs that MySQL recognizes. So let's have a look and see what happens when this gets run. Now it returns 17 records, and all of these have the letters ACE in them. Now, that's fairly good, but supposing what we want to do is to select a particular letter. Well, let's have a look at how you do that. This SQL statement is exactly like the other one, but you'll notice that the last line has like C underscore A percent. In other words, this particular piece of SQL is going to look for any books that start with a capital C, then have a letter, any letter, and then have an A, followed by whatever else. So this will start with C something A. So let's try that version. And now we get back eight rows, all of which have a starting C, some letter, and an A. Those are the only two symbols that MySQL recognizes. However, there is another way of selecting particular records based on something in there, and that's to use regular expressions. Regular expressions are something that's outside the scope of this video, and maybe there'll be a series on that eventually. But for this particular one, I want you to take what I'm showing you as given. Here, on the final line, it says title reg x er dot dollar. And what that means is that this is a regular expression that will look for anything that ends with er and some character. That may be a full stop, that may be an exclamation mark, it might be a question mark, or it might be two, but it's a character. So let's see what happens when we run this. What we get are some that end in er dot, some that end in er question mark, and this has done exactly what we expected it to do. So now you've seen all three possibilities. A percent means anything, so you'd use that where you're starting or ending with anything, that, but you want something at the beginning, something at the end, or something in the middle. An underscore, which is any character, 
I don't care which letter it is, or number for that matter. And finally, the use of regular expressions. Thank you for watching. Thank you.